The Cardinals are soaring over their competition. They're at a 9-2 record. Quarterback Carson Palmer has thrown for 3,337 yards and 27 touchdowns. Wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald is playing like he's 22 again. He has a total of 992 receiving yards and 7 touchdowns. Running back Chris Johnson has a total of not of 814 rushing yards and 3 touchdowns. It looks like the playoffs are going to be in the bag for the Cardinals. Hope the Cardinals can protect the nest. So what I'm saying is, all books are horrible. Just kidding. We love books. Okay, let's do a real book review now. Okay. Anna has finished a good book called Lincoln's Grave Robbers. It gave real facts about how people run Lincoln's grave, and it also explains how they got caught. What do you think about the author? The author has written some of... Uh, um, other mysterious mysteries. So I really like his books because I love mysteries. Okay, thank you for coming. I'm going to go read that book. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go read that book again and then just take a nap. <laughs> Christina with Current World Events. I'm so sorry, but Anna couldn't make it today. Hmm. Anyways, did you know there is a steak that costs $3,200, and apparently alligators in Florida were fighting over it on a golf course? <gasps> hey, where were you? You're late. What happened to you? Sorry, I was building a bomb shelter. What? Yeah, the ISIS is trying to... I know that there's a bomb shelter in the backyard. Yes, I built it. I'll tell you later. Bye. Yeah, anyway, they have bombing plans, plus they bomb Paris coming 120 What? Okay, I gotta go build a bomb shelter. Wait, I'll help you. We have no proof that the ISIS is actually bombing. They're not responsible for kids believing in building bomb shelters. Have a good day. Wait up, Christina! Hello, this is Jacob from Wallace Weekly. On December the 1st, 2015, marked the 60th anniversary of the Montgomery bus boycott. On that day, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus. The bus was particularly busy that day, and she was really tired from work. So when she refused, she was arrested immediately. Now after a year, she won the right for no segregations on buses and many more rights won over the years with civil rights leaders and people that supported them. This is Jacob signing off. This is Anna and Christina. We're on the debate team. On how mermaids are not real. And how they are real. They are not. Yes, they are. I'll show you how. <clears throat> They would freeze to, number one reason, is they would freeze to death in the water. The bottom of every ocean is freezing, and that's where mermaids swim, so. My reasons are with nearly three quarters of the earth covered in water, only 10% of it is explored. They could be in hiding. Number two reason, how are mermaids even alive? When did they become alive and how? If they are real, that's my question. Plus, there are sightings and legends from... 1614, so they could be true. A guy back then saw one and wrote a song. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I love the girl with all me heart, but I only like the upper part. I do not like the tail. How can you like uh, something if you only like half of it? That's like... Well, I don't know. It was like 500 years ago. Okay. Three. They would go extinct. How do mermaids reproduce or have kids? They don't lay eggs like fish, and they're half fish, so. Also, on mermaid body, a mermaid body found, a scientist took a DNA sample of a body found on a beach. It appeared positive for fish.
Number four. Last of all, how do they go to the bathroom? All animals have to go to the bathroom. Fishes go to the bathroom to their gills, but mermaids don't have gills, and they can't go to the bathroom the way humans can since they have fish. So, and that's why mermaids are not real. I think they still are real. Well, I just proved you wrong. Hey, this is Fiona with Coolbacks about the holiday called Christmas. First, did you know most Ukrainian families decorate their trees with spider webs and spiders? I think that's pretty crazy. Two, Santa Claus is called a lot of names such as Saint Nick, Prayer Noel, Santa Father, Labafna, and Babushka. Three, long before people kissed under the mistletoe, the early tribes thought it had the power to ward off evil spirits and bring families closer. Four, did you know Germans made the first artificial Christmas tree out of dyed goose feathers? Five, each year more than three billion cards are sent out alone in the U.S. That's pretty crazy. Fiona, out. Welcome to Wallace Weekly with Becky and Becky. So we all know Santa's coming this year, but what about Santa's evil helpers? <laughs> Here is five Santa's evil helpers. Number one, Krampus. Krampus is a German folktale used as a tool to encourage good behavior in children. Krampus is like Santa's evil twin, only uglier. He has double horns, a long tongue, and a goat-like body. Krampus beats bad children while Santa rewards, rewards good. Krampus also has a cage for extra bad children. Krampus night is December 5th where people dress up and beat others. Alcohol is usually involved. He'll also eat you. Gross. Number two. Tales told in Germany and Austria sometimes feature a witch named Frau Kirchstein. She gives rewards and punishment to her most gruesome punishment of all is ripping out your internal organs and s replacing them with garbage. She's like a lady compass, Fiona. Number three, Hans Trap. Hans Trap is another anti-Santa who hands out punishment to bad children in some regions of France. The legend says he was a real man, rich, greedy, and evil. And also, he worships Satan. He dressed up like a scarecrow to scare ki kids into being good. He also preyed upon children in his forest. He was killed by a lightning strike from his own god. That's shocking. Number four, Yule Cat, or Christmas Cat, is an Icelandic folktale. Don't be fooled by, by the name. This kitty is not a nice kitty. He eats lazy children who don't do their chores. He knows what kids are lazy because they had they have raggedy clothes. Because their parents only buy new clothes for the kids who actually do their chores. Dang, I'm gonna do my chores. Me too. Number five, Gryla. Gryla is the mother of the Yule Lads, other anti-Santas, and the owner of the Yule Cat. Gryla is, also, is an old Icelandic ogress who kidnapped and ate children. She only became associated with Christmas in the 17th century. So before Christmas, she just ate kids for fun. Gryla also continues to curse other parts of Iceland and was blamed for the 2010 volcano. Talk about baby back ribs. Better My than good this year. You got questions? We got answers. Hit us up in our comments box below or in our Q&A box in the West office. Make sure you hit a thanks, like. For thanks watch. for watching and don't, don't forget, forget to hit the like button. Bye! <laughs>